Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I make videos on luxury, fashion, and beauty. So if that is something that you're interested in, then please consider subscribing. Today's video is all about this beautiful bag here. This is one of those bags that I saw and I just absolutely had to have it. So I put it on my wish list and then shortly after I put it on my wish list, it became on sale. I don't remember what the sale was, but for some reason it was on sale. I believe it was 40% off. This ba this bag originally retails for I want to say 2400 I will pop it up on the screen for you guys and I got it for 1700 so I got a pretty good deal on this bag and I just absolutely had to have it. So now that I've had it for quite a few months, I believe I got this bag back in June, I decided that it is time to share with you guys my thoughts on this bag. Now I've never had the original Antigona so I can't give you guys a comparison between the two but I can give you guys my thoughts on this bag. First of all, I have not taken off the sticker off of the hardware, so I can't speak as far as how the hardware and scratching has gone, but I will say it looks as though the sticker is not even on there. Let me see if I could give you guys a close up. So you can see there, the sticker is still on here. The rest of the hardware has not scratched at all, not even a hairline scratch, which I think is amazing. I have been using this bag all for the past two weeks, honestly, and I haven't put it down, I haven't wanted to change out of it. Now, I do have some thoughts, so let me go over some pros with you guys. First of all, the beauty of it. Look how stunning this bag is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this color. I think it's more of a blue. My husband calls it green. I don't think it's green at all. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys see? Do you see a blue bag or do you guys see a green bag? For me, this is definitely a aqua blue in a baby version baby aqua blue muted aqua blue something like that very very light blue and i think it's so beautiful so with the original antigona these straps don't go all the way down here on this one it goes all the way to the bottom i love the chunky hardware on here for me it's beautiful it does have the adjustable strap that you can take off just by lining these little guys up here and it just pulls right off i have heard other com people complain about it coming off while carrying it i have not had that issue but i will say i do carry this bag more so top handle than i do cross body and then the back of it has the same detail where it goes all the way to the bottom and then it's got the beautiful JaVinci um, logo right there. And then the side is exactly the same. And the strap is adjustable. It does have five adjustments, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, yes. This bag has five adjustments on there so it will probably work for you and your body height and body type. Um, it does feel comfortable cross body but it is a little bit awkward. If you guys have the Alma BB by Louis Vuitton, I, I imagine it feels about the same. I have tried that bag on, and for me, just in the quick second of trying it on, it does feel about the same because it does have that same shape where it's wider at the bottom and slimmer at the top. Now this one has the magnetic closure, so it's just a magnet that closes it. I will say that more often than not, I just leave mine open. Nothing falls out because I do carry a top handle. If I am in a place where it's really, really busy, then I'll close it and it's very easy to close. And then to open it, I just pull on the two handles and it opens just fine. So the inside of the bag has a lot of room. I'm gonna share with you guys everything that's in here. This is gonna be a true what's in my bag. I haven't taken anything out or added anything in. And then as far as the bottom goes, it doesn't have feet, but it does have this extra leather bit here to protect the bottom, which I think is wonderful. It protects it from any wear or tear. And now that we're talking about wear or tear, let's go over any wear or tear. So I don't have any wear or tear that I can see. Let me show you guys a close up of the corners. So you can see there, it looks pretty good. The handles still look really good. I do think that the handles are going to get misshapen over time. I can already see that this one's like pulling back a little bit, which is another reason why I prefer to leave it open. When they're together, they kind of push on each other and push each other back. So um, that's another reason why I like to leave mine open. But other than that, I don't see any wear or tear. Now I will say on here, let me remove the strap so you guys can see better. Right here, 
it is getting dirty from this rubbing on here, but it's not actual wear or tear. So that just needs to be wiped off and then it will be perfectly fine. Um, other than that, it's been holding up really, really well. So now let's go over a couple of cons with you guys. So my first con is that the bag is a little bit heavy. Now it's not super heavy, but I did wear this bag shopping around Target actually, and I wore it on my shoulder and I didn't take it off my shoulder. I didn't put it in the cart because I wanted to see how heavy it would be. And it did dig into my shoulder after a while. So not right away, but after a while it did get pretty heavy to the point where I took it off and I actually top handled it. So so the weight of this bag is a con for me. Another con for me is it is difficult to find your items in here. It doesn't open very wide and it kind of is hard to get in there and maneuver around, especially because the top part is smaller of an opening than the bottom part. So all of your things are down here in the bottom, all scrambled up together and they don't, it's really difficult to find them. So that is a con for me. So I like to put all of my necessity items, the items that I'm gonna to need to find right away in this little pocket here. So my key clay, which is my most used item in my bag, fits perfectly inside of that pocket, as you guys can see there. So that's what I like to do. I just like to put that in there and then I don't have to really stress about finding it. If I have a specific lip color I'm wearing that day, I'll pop it in there as well. That way if I'm touching up, then I won't have to struggle to find that as well. So that kind of solves that problem for me. And those are my only two cons about this bag. Now let's go over, go over what is inside of this bag. So first off, we have my key clay. I'm gonna put the bag down. I'll pull everything out and show you guys as I go. So you guys already know I have my key clay. This has all of my main credit cards, my main debit card, and my ID. And then usually I keep a little bit of cash and then my keys. That way if I'm ever running out the door and I don't wanna carry my whole bag, I can just slip this in my pocket and I'm ready to go. Next up I have a Nordstrom gift card. This was a gift from my boss for my birthday and I still haven't used it. My birthday was back in September. And then I have in this slip pocket, a little bit of cash. I usually keep a little bit of cash on me just for my kids and their school necessities, their school lunches, anything that they may need that's coming up that they need a little bit of cash for. Then I have my sunglasses. These are my Ray-Ban sunglasses. They are prescription. I wear glasses all the time, but when I go outside, especially at work, I do work indoors and outdoors. I like to wear sunglasses and I can't see without prescription glasses. So these are my one and only pair of prescription sunglasses and they go everywhere with me. I generally won't purchase a bag if my sunglasses do not fit inside of it. Next up, I have some tissues. Actually, this is not tissues, these are napkins. That is because I've been sick for over a week. I had 102 fever last weekend and then after the fever broke, then I just got this weird sinus situation going on. So I have some napkins in there. I have a pack of gum. I have my card case. So this has all my gift cards and other cards that I don't use as often in my little card case here. Then I have my headphones. I've got a lot of junk at the bottom of this bag, guys. So then I have a lipstick. I must have been using this color last week. I usually only keep whatever color I'm wearing in my bag. And then I have this. This is something new I just got. It's Wild Rose Perfume Oil in the in this um, smell of lavender. I do have anxiety. Um, I'm learning how to deal with it. And this has helped me. So I just put this in the palm of my hand whenever I'm feeling a little extra stressed out. And I will just literally sit like this. And I can smell it and nobody knows what I'm doing. And it just kind of helps to calm me down a little bit. I've been really, really enjoying it. So if you guys are suffering with anxiety like me, go ahead and pick up one of these. I just picked this up at the mall. I'm not sure what the store was called. And then I have a little pill, Advil pill bottle. I like to, it's empty right now because I've been sick. So I've used everything that's in here, but I like to keep whatever, um, some Advil in here. And then if I'm sick with the flu or something, then I'll keep a couple of those in there as well. Then I just have an EOS chapstick here, which smells really good. And then I have a 
ginger gins wrapper have you guys ever tried these if you like ginger or you like naturally spicy things try these out you can get them on amazon so yummy they're a little pricey but they're yummy and they have good health benefits as well and then i've got a lady product and then a marker which i only have this in my purse because i needed it i needed it for gift wrapping and so um that's the only reason normally i don't keep a marker or a pen in my uh, purse and then I have my original tag in this back pocket so you can see it is completely empty now So I brought out a couple other items that I know that other people carry in their bags so that you guys can see how they fit So first up I have a long wallet. This is a full-size wallet It is very very big and I can't imagine that I ever used a wallet like this, but I did I used to use this wallet every single day and I'd bring it to work So it fits inside of the bag perfectly. Let me show you guys so you can see it fits perfectly inside of there. Lots of room left. And then I also brought out a little 2022. This is just a little calendar agenda that I got from Target. So you can see that fits in there as well. Perfectly fine, even with the long wallet. And then I brought out a little makeup pouch. So this is a Mac makeup pouch. I only carry this in my bigger bags and only when I need to. It pretty much has the same little knickknacks that I already pulled out of my purse. Um, just all contained in a pouch. So it's got some Aquaphor. I like to use that because I have dry skin. It's got my little Advil bottle. It's got a couple perfumes in here, a couple lady products, just random things inside of there. So let's see if that fits in here with those other items. So it's definitely a tight fit. Let me pull out the calendar first. Okay, you can see that all of those fit inside of there. I just had to maneuver it a little bit. And then I have my phone case because I film on my phone and let's see how that fits inside of there. So that fits in there perfectly fine. And then let's put sunglasses because I always need my sunglasses in there. And then we wouldn't need our key clay or our card holder because we already have the large wallet in there, but let's just put in there in case you guys carry a larger wallet and a key clay with your keys. And you can see that fits in there perfectly fine as well. I went ahead and put all of my items that I normally carry in this bag with a couple of the other items just so that you guys can see how it fits. So I have the pouch in here, I have the cell phone case in here, and I have the agenda in here along with all of my normal items that you saw a few minutes ago. So um, this actually just popped off and that's never happened to me before. Let's see. So I have heard that that can be a con with that popping off, but I've never experienced that myself. But as you guys can see, all of my items fit in there plus more than what I was carrying. But I will say it's pretty heavy. Now that we've gone over pros and cons, let me quickly show you guys some mod shots. I will show you guys top handle and then of course cross body as well. So here you guys can see I have it top handle it is a very comfortable fit my fingers fit in there perfectly if it was any smaller my fingers would be cramped inside of there but that's not the case thankfully it is a very comfortable fit and this is how i carry it most often and then cross body it is comfortable as well but it just pops off of your hip just a little bit and it is a little heavy because of the thinner strap but i do think it looks really really cute I like the way it is hands-free and it is a comfortable fit. It just pops out a little bit at the hip here. That was everything that I had to share with you guys about my JaVinci Antigona. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Do you guys like this bag? And if you own the original, is it any different than this one here? Please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribed if you like this video. And of course, I will have a video linked here and a video linked here for you to check out next.